hi everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a great day or a great night depending on when you're watching this video if you're new to my channel welcome my name is desiree and my channel name is i desire wealth so i just finished putting all the stickers on my july monthly budget so we'll take a look at it hold on so here is my july monthly budget as you can see i didn't add too many stickers to it but i think this will be just enough so i have this doll right here um she was on some stickers i got from scripts by l and c the day stickers are by her courage to plan the budget stickers that say budget check-in and payday things like that are from her courage to plan the days of the week stickers are from scripts by lnc uh the stickers that have well this sticker right here in particular is by stick with katie on etsy this sticker right here is by who um i can't even say her name properly so this is it right here and this is what you would get you would get daily and check marks and i just put this here so i can keep up with my eye drops and whatnot so this is what it looks like overall i think it looks pretty good and of course the flower stickers came from the happy planner flower sticker book let's go ahead and talk about the monthly bills and whatnot in them down i haven't written them down in my planner just yet but i am so first we have YouTube, and of course I do the split payment method. Some of the bills are a little higher than what they normally are because I added some extra cash. So let's see if we would be able to um, save all of the full amount of money that I've written down. So YouTube for the month is $4 divided by 2 is $2.00. The NES bill, so Nashville Electric Service, I already paid the bill that's due in July. So for the next month, I'm just going to budget the same amount for the car payment. The car payment is actually $406, but I do want to try to get back into paying what I was paying when I had um, who? bank of america it was actually 466 and some change and i'm just rounding it up no worries so 235 each and this is how you do the split payment method you pretty much take all the bills and divide them up to where you would get that full amount for google 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 is three dollars and i didn't want to do 150 150 so i did one dollar and two dollars which would still give me the same exact amount next we have state form for 254 and that's 127 each for term life insurance remember it's not due in till september so we're just saving money this one i want to save 88 dollars which i don't really have to just yet but just in case 88 and 44 each paycheck for AT&T the bill for the month is already paid so this is for the next month $65 and then we have 33 and $32 which I did read that backwards Netflix we have $14 divided by 2 which is 7 each paycheck Next, we have the Cricut bill, which is $118 for three phone lines with insurance on one phone line. So $59 each paycheck. And then my sister take her amount and she put that in church for me. Next, we have rent. Rent is still currently $888. I'm just attempting yes attempting i'm attempting to add 70 dollars because that's how much rent went up last year rent was uh 810 dollars it went up 70 dollars and i'm really not sure how much it'll end up going up in august so i'm just trying to 
call myself getting prepared for that if possible so i said hey let's go ahead and add another 70 dollars i'm not sure about the rent at all but i will be getting a letter soon i know they're um behind behind where we stay there is a lot of empty land and they are i believe uh taking that land and putting townhouses on it if i'm not mistaken so i'm not really sure how much the rent would go up so i'm just trying to get myself just a little prepared so all together that is a big number two thousand eighty six dollars and then for the first paycheck i need one thousand forty two dollars second paycheck i need one thousand forty four dollars and remember i stopped uh, making a monthly budget in february this has been working out for me at least i still know what the bills are and then we'll see the bills break down on the first paycheck when i get paid on the 10th according to this calendar and then we have debt so as of right now this is my debt so far we still got navy federal 381.89 discover 283.64 capital one which i'm paying with points um when i pay state farm bill that capital one bill will be ten dollars and eighteen cent which again i will be paying for points i've already had my state farm um for last month come out so i'm just waiting on that pending bill to post so i can pay it next for leaders credit union we don't have any bill there i believe um google storage just went through for the payment so whenever that posts um actually i'll just wait to the statement date for the 17th and let the two dollars yes two dollars and 18 cent post and then i'll pay it that way i can have some activity on the account next we have goals and things so first no credit card i put useless <laughs> y'all know what i was saying no credit card usage unless i got the cash save for the dental visit for august so i do have a dental bill that i'm going to have in august and it's going to be four hundred and eighty eight dollars which i already have a hundred dollars saved now i do want to continue with keeping track of everything and i do mean everything next um i do need to send my nephew my money for the family reunion which is due by the end of this month because the family reunion is in september hold on next i just need to mention the collaboration with cassie j and friends so cassie j and tammy are doing another collaboration that involves cassie and tammy plus me and i believe eight other people which i will link their information below i would also leave the playlist below and this time we're going to use this savings challenge right here so again in my description box description box there is a low income challenge and a high income challenge if you would like to download it let me know in the comments that way i can know who's playing along with us also i know uh budgeting just because is going to do a giveaway so once we get that together which i am um participating in that as well once we get that together we'll go ahead and put it out make a video for it and kind of do like we did last year let me double check okay so i need to tell you all about my watch hours so as of today july the 2nd i have this many watch hours as of this morning and of course it won't update again for a couple days so thank you all so much uh hot mess budgets thank you so much Thank you, Nija, budgeting, yeah, budgeting the bacon. I was definitely about to say that channel name wrong. Um, thank you, everyone that's been watching my playlist. Chris from Budgeting Just Because, Tara from Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. You know, Budget with Chuckles has been running my playlist also along with Lisa J. Stocks. Definitely, if you're into investing, check out her channel. 
And I'm pretty sure I'm leaving a lot of people out. <laughs> I can't think of everybody's name at the moment. So thank you all so much. Slowly but surely is getting to where we want to be. Remember in September, my hours will kind of uh, drop off. So we definitely want to get there sooner than later. And I'm thinking about doing a giveaway, but I don't know if I want to do it this month or, you know, wait till next month since there's a lot of things going on. Also, I need to count all my saving challenges since I do want to kind of start fresh for J July since it is a new quarter. I want to go ahead and count all the challenges and I do want to use my randomizer to fund my accounts. Uh, maybe to save money for my credit card bills, put towards the dentist. I don't know. I don't know how much money it is, but I will make a separate video. So that is what's going on so far. I also went ahead and filled out my randomizer, which I love, by the way. So as you can see, I have all eight. Okay, so remember this piece of paper? And it's just letting you know what savings is, what an emergency fund is. And remember, here are all of my savings. And under the Essential Pros Pros Prosperous Fund, we have Protect the Quarterback, which is a rainy day fund. And then we have a PTO fund, month ahead. We have recurring bills and the Kurt what the quarterback himself which is the main emergency fund so we want to protect the fund with all of these other accounts and i'm kind of liking it this way i also uh, kind of have my ally account set up to where most things are individual but everything is kind of labeled what's what so now after this video i need to go ahead and make a new video of you know what i was able to save write everything down and put everything where it needs to go so i can start out fresh for july start out fresh by keeping my uh savings tracked thank you chris and i hope you all have a great rest of your day Bye.